Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve the problem B and the problem D from the biweekly contest 123. First we will understand the problem clearly, then we will do the brute force approach, then we will try to optimize the problem. Please pause the video till the end because this problem is very interesting and you will learn good amount of concepts like you, you will learn how to think. Now let's see the first we will understand the problem clearly. You are given a 2D array points of size n cross 2 representing integer coordinates of some points on 2d plane he is saying that he has given 2d array points he will give the random points in a 2d plane and a 2d plane we can represent that points at any position we define the right direction as positive x-axis left direction as negative x-axis similarly up y coordinate down negative coordinate negative y coordinate you will learn this in your maths um, coordinate geometry uh, now you have to place n people including Chisato and Takina let's consider Chisato as C and Takina as T at this point such that there is exactly one person at every point okay we, there are n points there are n people and at every point there will be only one person now C wants to be alone with T C wants to be alone with T so C will build a rectangular fence with C's position as upper left. Upper left is consider this as upper left. This will be my C's position. And the T's position as the lower right. T's position can be the lower right. This can be down here. Note that the fence might not close enclose any area. He's saying that fence cannot continue. That means it can be a straight line. Or it can be a point. It can be an anything. If, if any person other than C and T is either inside the fence or on the fence. That means now suppose C and T are at this position. We will build the fence. We will build the fence. And if some other person. If some other person consider Ayush. Consider Ayush is at this position. Then this fence is not valid. Or, or else if he is on the fence. Then it is also is not valid. He is saying inside the fence or on the fence. Now C will be sad. If it is there C will be sad. We need to return the number of pair of points where you can place C and T such that C does not become sad and building the fence. We need to consider C and T's different positions based on the array and we need to calculate how many points are there such that C should not be sad. Now let's see. My C and T can be if this positions, it can be a line, right? This is upper left and this is bottom right. And it can be this C and T, upper left and bottom right. Or else it can be directly upper left and bottom right, C, T. Now, C and we have T and now Ayush has come. Now, for C, we are representing the coordinate as X1, Y1. And for T, X2, Y2. Now, Ayush has come with X3 and Y3 coordinate. Now, to be on the fence or to inside the fence, you know, right, my x3 should be between x1 and x2. That means my x3 should be greater than x1 and my x3 should be less than or equal to x2. That means my x3 can be any position on this, on this line. Consider this line. It can be anywhere. Now, y3. Now, y3 should be between y1 and and y2 now y3 is less than or equals to y1 and my y3 should be greater than or equals to y2 that means it can be anywhere anywhere between y1 and y2 and if both are matching then we can say that my ayush is on the fence my ayush is on the fence and we will say we will break it we will break it now if you see this the if you see the constraints for the problem a you see the constant from the problem a it's like 50 so you can do brute 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 force approaches it will work what i will do in the brute force approach i will take two pairs i'll consider two pairs and for the third pair I, then i will iterate i will iterate for the third pair and i will check this condition if this condition is not valid for any pair then i can say that my these two pairs are valid my these two pairs are valid if it is valid i will increment the answer uh, try to code by yourself this thing. Uh, I think you have tried the coding part. Let's see. Uh, let's see the coding part. Now if you see x1, y1 
and then we will go j equals to zero j less than and j plus plus and if i is equals to j i will say if both points are same uh, because every point only one people can stay if i is equals to j then we will say continue x2 we have we have stored then we are iterating first condition we are checking my y1 should be greater than y2 and my x1 should be less than or equal to x2 that means my x1 is y1 is here my x2 and y2 is here my x1 and this is x2 my y1 and y2 my y1 should be definitely should be greater than or equal to y2 yes because my c is top left and my x1 is less than or equal to x2 yes my c should be left side of t this will be my condition then i will iterate to the then i will iterate again then i will iterate the loop and if i k is equals to y or k is equals to j because that point is considered twice then i will say i will not consider i will continue then we are storing x3 and y3 and we are applying the simple maths if once if it is f is equals to 1 then we are breaking it out or if all conditions are failing that means we have this fence and all other points are outside the fence then that means I am incrementing the answer then we are returning the answer now if you see here my time complexity is order of n into this is my n and this is my one more n this and this is my another n it will be n cube yes my first problem will be passed I think you have got it and let's think now if you see the second if you see the hard problem you can see the it is thousand thousand means you can do till order of n square order of a can you optimize it try to think for a couple of minutes try to plot the graph try to plot the graphs in different ways and try to think how you can solve the problem um, I think you have tried for a couple of minutes let's see let's see now the most important thing in this problem is the most important thing in the problem is uh, suppose we are at one position consider this my c is here my c is here my t is here my t is here my a is here now c will be definitely high right c will be definitely high and my c's x coordinate will be towards the left side it, it will be towards the left side so first thing i will think like i will sort my x coordinate i will sort my x coordinate that means it should be like x coordinate is in ascending order that means my point c a t now if it considering my one more point b can be at this position c can be at this position because this is sorted in x coordinate we will sort the sort in x coordinate and after sorting it uh, we are at this positions now let's consider y now we have satisfied this x because it is my left and this is my right because x and remaining all remaining all values towards the right side of this coordinate is greater than x that means my left coordinate is satisfied in clear stem in clear stem it should be this clear and t it should be towards the left and it should be greater and it should be greater we should try to satisfy this condition as well in order of n square in order of n cube we have solved it in n square now let's see we are at c now if my ayush suppose ayush is here ayush here then can i form the fence yes definitely you can form the fence right you can form the fence now consider uh, now my d dhiraj is it dhiraj is at this position dhiraj is at this position if you see if you want to draw the fence a is colliding right a is coming in between if i want to draw with dhiraj if i want to draw with dhiraj a is coming in between i is coming in between that means d dhiraj is not possible okay i will exclude dhiraj now if you are going for t t means uh, tanya let's consider <laughs> now if it is tanya we are going with this coordinate this fence this fence only this fence this fence you should forget because this fence are for the previous points in this fence you can see a is outside d is outside then is valid yes it's valid then my b bablu is here bablu is the, this position bablu is at this position if you draw the fence 
Tanya will come in between. So she will say, okay, I will be there in between. Now, if you see, uh, Bablu has done. Ishwar is at this. Suppose Ishwar is this position, this position. Then I can directly draw the fence here, and no one come, no one will come in between. So I think you started analyzing it. You connected the dots. So try for two to three minutes. Try to understand. Then we will see the logic. Then we will see the logic. Uh, I think you have, I think you have thought about it. I think you have thought about it. Now we are sorting according to x position. That means our points can be anywhere. It will definitely like this, right? Because we are not taking care about the y coordinate. We are we are thinking y ka baad me dekh lenge. Now if you see this, this is my valid. This is my valid point because I can directly form the fence. This is my valid point. But this is not my valid point because it will come in between. So that means this will, this need to be increasing. This one need to be increasing. This is also valid point. This is also valid point. So I will take y should be increasing. It will be if it is increased. Now suppose if you are at this position, then also it will fail because if you are this, if you try to build a fence, if you try to build a fence, this will come in between. If you are inclined, if you are inclined like this, my y is increasing. When my y is down and y is increasing at every point it's a valid point so my y coordinate is the important coordinate here so let's see let's see the logic now we first we are sorting according to the zero index if my zero index are equal we are making my y as big as possible if it is equal we are making y mm, wait a minute uh, we are incrementing uh, then we are after sorting, we are taking x1 and y1 and k is equals to minus 10 power 10 I have taken because if you see here, uh, not this coordinates, this coordinate, it can go minus 10 power 9. So I have taken this uh, as my, uh, because I am taking as minimum as possible, then j is equals to i plus 1, j less than a j plus plus, x2 and y2, if my y2 is greater than my y1, that means if my y2 is greater than y1 i am saying continue uh, my y2 is greater than y1 then i am saying continue and y2 is greater than k one minute wait thoda this is my y1 and this is my y2 uh, if my ah uh, yeah yeah it's like now it this this is my y1 and suppose you are getting y2 at this position <laughs> y2 at this position so it's it's not the scenario right because it should be the left top left and it should be the bottom right if my y2 is here then it will definitely fail okay yeah y2 is greater than y1 i will say continue because this is the scenario this fence is not possible because my clear should be towards the left and the my t should be bottom right now y2 is greater than k then answer plus plus y2 is greater than k answer plus plus that means my k is this position and then my y new y came as this position then it's valid if it is greater then we need to store right if my y2 is greater than k i should take maximum then if i am getting mag then after this position we are at this position my y2 is less than my y2 is less than the my minimum value uh, sorry this maximum value so we are not validating it we are saying this is out of scope because if you draw the fence it is not valid and he is this position my y has increased again then it's a valid fence if this position it's not a valid fence in this way we are going to calculate and we are returning the answer so in this uh, for sorting it will be n into log n but n into log n and here it will be order of n into n and the overall we can say that it is order of n square solution I think you understood it. I have tried my best to explain you in a best possible way. So if you understand the solution, please, please do like. And you can subscribe to my channel for further updates. And I have created a WhatsApp link and WhatsApp community. There we will discuss the problems after every contest. So if you are interested, you can join that community. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.